So I'm not a fan of buying early access games. Early access is basically, it's a game that's halfway done, or even not even that. And there's a lot of games that are early access you can buy on Steam. Usually they're cheaper because you're, you're kind of betting on like, it's not good now, I can play a little bit, but it'll get me better later. I'm usually not a fan of that because I like to I like to play games that are are done because I don't want to feed my money into into people that make a crappy game promising they're going to make it into a really nice game in the future but then don't do that. But one of the games that I kind of felt like maybe I should get it because it was fun at that it was already fun at that time and they promised to make it even funner and I didn't really care if they did because it looked kind of fun how it was. Well, that was back in January. Uh, sorry, February of 2015, I believe. It was a game called Stranded Deep. And it was basically like a survival game where you're... You, it's basically Castaway. Where you're... You're in an airplane and, you, and the airplane goes down and, well, you have to survive on some islands. And it's procedurally generated, too. So it's like... It's not that there's a, a single map. It's like Minecraft, where it's like... It randomly generates and it's like infinitely big. So you can just like hop from island to island getting stuff. Well, that's what you had to do before, because there wasn't that much stuff added to the game. You could take some sticks and make like a house out of them, like make walls and, so, and floors and stuff like that, but it's pretty limited. There wasn't much stuff you could make, and it was hard. There, there weren't any ways to like catch fish or anything, so you couldn't like really survive on one island. You had to keep moving from island to island using the resources. Well, I kind of forgot about the game for like a year, and I just recently saw that Sips... One of the YouTubers that I, I that I watch, I really like his stuff. He made he recently made a video where he went back to Stranded Deep, or I think maybe it was the first time he went to it. Well, and either way, he he he, st he made a video recently about Stranded Deep, and it's like, wow, that game looks so different. It has changed so much, and so I went into went into Steam, and it looks like when I first got it, it was it was uh, version 0 0.01 and I remember the first update was 0 0.02 or something like that and now it's like 0 0.12 so it's like had 10 whole updates since then and it looks different like it's a different game engine and everything so I think I'm gonna play that game again because it's like it's, pre it's pretty much like I bought the game for like what five dollars they've added so much stuff and now it's cost fifteen dollars but I still have the game because I bought it I I fed into it before it was a great thing, so I'm gonna play that. It'd be pretty cool. I probably recorded that on my on my video gaming channel. Well, today I had some packages come in. Stuff from Walmart. This is with my experiments of like seeing like grocery shopping via the internet. Aha! Jeans! You can always use those. I've only had two pairs of jeans. I want to have, like, enough clothes to where I can have, like, two weeks of wearing things without ever having to wash stuff. So I'm pretty much there. I just needed two more things of jeans. I'll probably get some shorts in, in the future, but... I don't really need those right now. California weather is really good. Oh, and then we have this. I was preparing that so I was going to talk about something, but I was like, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about something. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Just open it. needed the jeans but I decided to fill out the the order just to get free shipping so I got three of these with ravioli in them and nine of these beef stews no because instead of me going instead of me picking up one every single week whenever I go to Target or whatever, 
and since I don't go to Target, I go to like Safeway or whatever. I just I don't feel like picking them up because I, I don't have to pick them up. I can just order them a bunch, and which nine's not really a bunch. It's just it's a, it's a good thing to have because like it's it's good to have some food that you, it's good to have an inventory of food. So yeah, I got a bunch of this stuff. Oh well, that's fine. It just it just got crushed. If it makes a hissing sound when you open it, you know not to eat it. The dog can have it. Looks like this is actually not even the full order. There should be some other stuff going in too, so that's pretty cool. Probably came from different warehouses. Walmart is pretty shitty when it comes to packaging. So, Walmart as an option for internet grocery shopping. They pack food horribly. Everything is dented up. Like this. And this. Everything is just, they just quite literally toss everything into the box with just a little bit of paper on the top. I'm not a fan of that. I'm really, I'm really not a fan of that. It would be nice if they shifted a little better. But I don't know, I mean... A good shipping job has it to where it, whenever you undo the top, it pops out a little bit because there's just so much pressure holding everything down. Because this wouldn't happen then. Because this would only happen whenever it has a chance to go up and then smash down. But if it's just hitting, falling and then hitting, usually this won't do as much. But it, it's the, um, like if a, if a truck goes over a big bump or something like that, like a speed bump, that's whenever it can do it. Whenever you don't have, like, um, really tight packaging. Also, it takes, like, a week. Yeah, a week for the Walmart order to come in. So that's a mark against that also. Plus it's Walmart. So I think next time I'm going to see about ordering something from Amazon Fresh and actually getting something fresh. Because that, that, the other thing that is kind of against Walmart's internet grocery shopping is that you can't really get fresh stuff. You, you can only get canned stuff and like jeans and whatnot. Stuff that can already be lasting in like a year in a warehouse. Well, maybe almost a year. Wow. February 22nd, 2018. Maybe a year. That's pretty good. That's like... That's like... Two-thirds of the length of an, that an MRE is meant to last. Weird. Well, that's pretty much it. You know what? I just had an idea. I still have Stranded Deep, like version 0.02, .02, on my little ThinkPad. Well, I should play that version so I remember, so I get like, I get reaccustomed to what it was. And then, when I, when I, when I get, when I get to the extent of what I can do on there, I switch to the new version, which has like 10 updates and a bunch of stuff added. That would be awesome. I think I'm going to do that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.